Hello, Az. Um, I'm just going to call you that because I don't know how to pronounce the sign-on name, but you tell me what you go by, and, and I will be sure to use that. I wanted to respond to your video. I uh, thought it was just a, a great question there at the end. Uh, I hadn't viewed uh, Sable Chicken's video right away, but I have now. I, I, I see now how facetious she was being. Um, I want to mention two videos I made. I, I was intending to send them to you. I'm a subscriber of yours. And I had sent this out to most of the people I subscribed to. I, I called the first one the question, and I've since posted the answer, and it has to do with beliefs and uh, you know whether or not we... we can choose what we believe or change our minds, uh, change our beliefs by force of will, and uh, and then the answer to that. And I gave a little test in there, very similar to what you mentioned in your video about you know uh, something you have come to believe or believe for a long period of time. Uh, anyway, I hope you look at that video. Uh, regarding the comparison, you wanted you wanted to know what was it, how did I write it down? Yeah, the difference between um, God and the spaghetti monster. Uh, I believe. I'm going to talk about the belief in God or the belief in the spaghetti monster or the proposition of God or the proposition of the spaghetti monster. Um, and, and I'm also going to uh, discuss Santa Claus because I think he offers a good uh, good middle ground, uh, I would call it. On, uh, on the proposition of God, a couple of things that come to mind for me. For one... Uh, there's the sincerity of the people that I've talked to, the perceived sincerity that that I uh, have picked up on in talking to people that are convinced. They believe, they say they know that God exists, and that uh, sincerity uh, makes a difference to me. I've, I've learned that it it affects me. Um, secondly, there's there's uh, you know the, there's the the sheer volume. I, I call it the universal human consideration. This this question, you know, this consideration: Am I created? Do I have a, a maker? Am uh, is there a God? Um, where did I come from? It's uh, I, I believe you know almost virtually universal, and uh, you know I base that on the on the world's religions, the vast number of religions all through history, right up to today. Um, I see those as the result of the consideration of whether or not there's a God. And then third, there's the longevity of the belief. You, you had, uh, you know, mentioned you 20 years of believing a certain way, and uh, and uh, and obviously there are many people who go through their entire lives, you know, holding a, a single belief in God. I'm not saying that things don't change shape or things aren't, uh, you know, added to or taken away, but they, you know, they follow through on a, on a particular faith for their whole life, and uh, that too, I think, makes overall the God question immediately more. For me, more more riveting and more deserving uh, question or consideration. Uh, then, I, then let's go to Santa Claus. The reason being, there is um, a perception of sincerity involved there. Uh, your parents, you're, you're hearing from your parents. You perceive sincerity. They hold this strong position of trust, and they, you know, hopefully, they do love you. And they share with you this uh, this story about Santa Claus, and they create in you a belief in Santa Claus. So sincerity, obviously, uh, alone isn't uh, a unique thing. But what happens with Santa Claus, obviously, is the truth is revealed over time. And uh, without going into what, what I feel truth is, or you know, that would be a great discussion to have with you another video another time. Um, but basically, you catch your parents putting the presents out under the tree, or somebody gets you, you know, tells you it's not true, gets you to start checking things out, and uh, and the belief is. Uh, what dealt a fatal blow? It changes. That belief no longer exists. Uh, eh, another separate subject. Um, and then there's the the flying spaghetti monster, which is uh, you know unless I it's a parody. And I would say it's a parody by someone who you know you'd you'd mention that since you've uh, stopped uh, believing in Christianity, I don't know how to say that, but you, since your beliefs have changed. Uh, regarding whether or not there's a God, you cannot uh, really get your head around how Christians are thinking. Well, the same with, with whoever came up with the Spaghetti Monster parody. It's obvious that, um, you know, they, they don't have any uh, real understanding of uh, people who've come to a belief in God. And, um, and that, you know, that's fine. It's tongue-in-cheek, it's humorous, whatever. But, but here's the thing. This is interesting to me. I really like what I've seen in your videos. I've been checking out your Logic videos and and, uh, and I can honestly tell you right now, as we sit here, 
that I'm a little intimidated by you, but but I'm, I'm going to take a chance on maybe getting a slap here. But I can't tell that it, if you uh, sincerely think that they're in any way uh, equally deserving of consideration or anything like that. But but I. I I just want to say that I think, I find that a consideration or a comparison between those propositions or considerations, if it's sincere, if a person is really wondering what the difference is, I, f I find that to be absurd. And I, I, um, anyway, I hope you'll look at those videos I told you about that I made and, and I'd love to hear back from you. And, um, and I hope I in some way answered that part about what's the difference between the spaghetti monster and, and I've uh, got Thanks.